you guys know I am a big fan of love stories, even though I don't believe in it no more, but I like to see y'all be dumb enough to believe in it. And there is a beautiful lady who believes in love in a way. Her name is Forever the Rebel. Now, Forever the Rebel is a musician. You used to have to bleed on the floor. Now it don't even hurt anymore. You used to want to take my life. You can find her on TikTok. By the way, stop the show. <laughs> She's very beautiful. I've been thirsting in her comments, but she haven't responded to me. She she ain't dealing with me, but I still love her though, right? But she went viral because she was living a lesbian lifestyle. And basically she got tired of getting used by women. So she wanted to come over to men. What's up, I'm a stud. I like girls, but I think, <laughs> I think I'm gonna start dating men. And let me tell you why, let me tell you why. So I've been out here dating and I just find that I date a lot of these fems, and it seems like they looking for a parent instead of a partner, bro. Like, and I love spoiling my women. I love paying for stuff. I love taking them on dates and getting them flowers and make sure they're good in every way, make sure they're safe, opening the door for them, all that. I love that stuff. But it seems like I can't get any spoiling in return. Yeah. Nobody wants to play that role. I'm getting girls flowers, taking them on these crazy dates, and, you know, and them real good, you know, at the end of the night, make sure they get it. Booty clapping sounds? So you're, you're booty, you, you, be, you be clapping things? Home said getting them all of this and getting nothing in return. Like, I don't know if girls are fake de gay, but they don't even want to, like, they don't even want to F back. Like, they don't even want to back. Like, am, am like, I, like, what? I be trying to ask girls, like, are you gay for real? Like, are you, are you gay? So basically, she got tired of getting used by ladies, right? So she was like, let me go over to men. Now, a lot of brothers in the comment section, including me, was in there thirsty. Like, look, <laughs> I would love to fly you to Uganda and buy you some sandals, right? So she started like entertaining guys. Now, I don't know if she really liked men, but she was getting a whole bunch of attention from men, right? And this is where it's getting a little fishy. I'm a Capricorn with a Libra sun and an Aries moon. Messing with me, wife, you mommy. So she said, Come on, wife me. I swear, I would be an excellent wife to whoever. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You dating men now? Yes, I am. Okay, so she wants to be an excellent wife all of a sudden, right? She didn't deal with men ever. She is completely gay. But look at the caption May the best person win. I'm looking for the LOML. I don't know what this means, right? So she's still talking about this right now. So hella dudes in the comment section, include me. Thank you, thank you. You think I'm cute? Test the screen, baby. Come on, let's go on a date or something. Like, what you waiting on? Mm -hmm. Check the DM. I'm gonna answer everybody's DMs, mm -hmm. but it's like a lot of y'all right now. So, and I got these nails, so I can't even text. Everybody's getting voice messages because I can't even text right now. You send me a request. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna check it out after this. You pretty just too far. I can't do long distance. See, I can't do long distance either. The, the, the girl is the girl's fine. I ain't gonna lie, right? So obviously, so here's what we got. We got basically a young lady who just a few weeks ago didn't like dudes at all. She's in love with women. She's even saying, are you actually gay because you don't want to do the things I'm doing to you down to me, which already let me know that you really ain't into men like that. So because girls are stingy, according to you, you want to try men now. And so now all these dudes is giving you attention and you're going out on dates, right? And you guys really seem to like the last one. And I love you guys for all the support and love I've been getting. So let's do another one. So now she's gonna go into another stud story of how she got played by girls now now remind you guys is really on her like real tough and she's kind of changing her little appearance to look a bit a little more feminine to get more attention let's check out this next story met this girl on a dating app don't know why they all gotta start like that but i did you know we was having some good conversations you know what i mean the vibe was pretty good this time the only thing is she's poly in a relationship with another girl <laughs> But I was talking to her about herself. I was just like, she said, I'm getting to know you. We started feeling each other, whatever. So again, she started like, hey, let's link. Eventually, we get to the point where she came over, came over my crib. 
when she came over she left her phone over here and the next day i brought her phone to her she lives like five minutes away from me that's important to the story i brought it to her like hey i just she wasn't there so i just put it on her porch in a safe place i was like here go your phone i came over to her house one day for a barbecue i had brought some extra clothes and shoes with me my sister did too because we planned to spend the night how y'all just be just spending the night at people see this is the thing i don't understand about <sighs> I mean, just spend the night at people's houses all dating apps. That's that. That's, that's living that dusty life, boo. You too fine to be. That's just a little bit too weaving and sailing for me. But okay. I mean, I would never do that. But you know, we got lit. You know, we did. We did. Like me and her fooled around a little bit. But to be honest, I ain't really feeling a girl friend like in that way because I'm not attracted to her. Like honestly, the thing is, both these girls were big. You know what I'm saying? Like not no. You know what I mean, they was, and but I ain't like that, so I give a personality, the vibe was right, so I came over there, and it's like, I don't want to date both of them, you know what I mean, like, I ain't, I ain't even interested in that, I don't even want to date, honestly, I'm just here to kick it, but as we start kicking it more, she asked me one day, like, hey, straight up, why you don't like my bae, and I'm just like, man, she's just masculine, and I just, I don't think about her like that, and she was like, all right, well, you gotta take both of us, or it's not gonna work, so we could just be friends. I'm like, cool, for sure. Like, you know what I mean? I just want friends anyway. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't thirsty. But since that text conversation we had, that she always acted a little weird. Like, stop responding less. Like, just being kind of weird. Now, back to the when I went over her house with the extra set of clothes. We got messed up. We lit. We did what we did. And I left. Me and my sister left some of our things over her house. Right after I left that stuff over there, my car broke down. Like, I was having car issues. It was overheating and stuff like that that on top of me just being busy and high and all that i for, i keep forgetting to come get it like i like oh sam come get it and i'll keep forgetting to come get it she never brought it to me never offered to drop it off to me nothing like that and you know i got receipts for it all like i let her know all this like i got one saying yeah i young supposed to come get that but i forgot like I, I told her like my car is getting fixed right now like i got i got like i told her this stuff like and that was on me you know what i mean but we was cool so i didn't think like it was so urgent that i had to come get it right now but one day I finally got in the position where I could go get it. I had got a new car. So I was like, hey, um, can I slide to come get him? Like, and I asked her and she was like ignoring me. She wasn't answering. My sister said, yeah, I could just go and get him. I'm off work. And like, I was texting her like, hey, like she was not responding. Like I feel some type of way that when you left your phone, I can't have brought it to you next day. And I can't even get you to come slide. I can't even get you to answer. Like, I don't know what I did to you, but I apologize. Like I said, like she was acting a little distant after I told her, like, I don't want both of y'all. And I'm like, she not responding. All right, well, I found her girl Instagram. I like followed it or whatever. I found it, and I hear her up like, hey, my sister, don't know where y'all house. Can y'all put our shoes outside? We had left our shoes over there. And then she just texted me back, hey, we moved to Florida. I was like, what? You threw our stuff away? Like, why ain't your girl say anything? I could have came and grabbed them before y'all like moved. Like what? And I'm telling them like, I brought y'all home the next day. Y'all could at least drop our stuff off. Like my car broke down. I'm having a hard time getting around. Like if it was that urgent, I would have made a way. Like y'all, that's kind of bogus. Her girlfriend did not respond after that. So I let it go. I let it go for a minute. But then one day, I was sitting up and I was thinking about it. I was sitting up and I was thinking about it. I was with my people and I was explaining to them the situation. And I got so mad. So I'm just showing all the problems she was having with studs, right? Now she finally goes out on a date with a dude. The first date ever with a man. Vlogging it, right? Let's check it out. I y'all, I've been gay my whole life. I don't like girls my whole life. I've never been on a date with a man. But for today, for the first time, I'm I've been gay my whole life. I like girls my whole life. I've never been on a date with a man. But today, for the first time, I'm going on a date with a man and I want to bring y'all along with me so we can see how it is. Did it go good or not? Like, I want to get spoiled too. Like, this is my first time. So, obviously, I'm going to get cute and put my lashes on, do a little makeup or whatever. I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with my hair and it was really getting annoying. Like, I know I need a retwist, but I could figure out what to wear. I put a little two piece dress set on. It's cute or whatever. It was giving Egyptian goddess. It was giving, like, must him something like was it eating was it giving is this a day fit i don't know i don't know help but you know me i gotta put my grills on and he came and picked me up he opened the door for me very gentleman like i love it i was looking cute in the whip i was nervous y'all i was nervous but we ended up pulling up i didn't know where we was going he ended up taking me to cheesecake factory y'all and i've never been to cheesecake factory but i seen a video of a girl getting mad that her man somebody took her to cheesecake factory but it looked it nice in there to me i don't know did she say looked it you know she african-american talking like that it's nice it's pretty i don't i don't get the problem 
the menu was long as hell. I though. ended up getting some cheese sticks as an appetizer and a salad for my entree. Very demure of me. He got a burger with on ciabatta bread. Very big back of him. The conversation was good. He was asking me questions about myself and stuff. I was having a good time. We had a really like deep conversation. When the bill came, he picked it up, and that was like really so refreshing to me. I can't. I haven't been taken on a date as somebody paid for my meal at all in like years so it was great he ended up taking me to his place because he's talking about he got games at his house and y'all he had games he sat there and played the game and, and, and i joined him i ain't gonna lie i joined him because like he what had do? drinks like, and he kept pressing me to take a shot i really wonder why hmm then he watched the game and i was getting so bored so at this point i just wanted to keep taking more shots because i was bored so i took a I'm like let's, let's pour it out again it was nasty it's very nasty he gave me a cookie it was very cute whatever we was playing the game cool and kicking whatever then he brought out his guitar and i thought it was cute because y'all know i like music i do music but it seemed like he was struggling a little bit so it was kind of like making it awkward but he had a nice guitar. He told me he wanted to show me his room, and I'm thinking it was going to be super nice. It wasn't even clean, so I don't know. But I had a good time, though. A time was had. <laughs> so I don't know if she got her cheeks clapped, but she was definitely in the in this comments like, let's go on a date with another dude, right? Because dude's like, oh, how was it? Well, hey, hit me up. We going to date, too. I don't know if she's trolling or using brothers for just dates. I mean, she... I don't know, man. She 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 giving me she she's she's fine. I wish I would have been me on the date. But is she using black men brothers to get free meals and free dates because she never got it before? But she really liked girls. Like, what do y'all think about that, man? I hope that's not the case. But it seemed a little suspect. I mean, she did go in the room. I don't know if she got clapped. I don't know, brothers. But do you think that she's using men for free meals? If so, comment below. I'm interested to see all the rest of these dates. We out. Peace.